subscribe or bear the hatred of the Uchiha. Well, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video, and we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 4. Now, ever since its inception in 2002, the Kingdom Hearts series has captivated many people around the world. You know, it has a unique blend of Disney magic with a seriousness in Square Enix storytelling. Now, every game gives you like a little bit different emotions in every single one. You know, for it to be quote unquote a kids game, which to be honest, I, I think it is, but I think it isn't. Uh, it has some very adult themes and some very mature storytelling, uh, but it also has Donald and Goofy. So I think it's basically one of the games, if not the best one that does a mixture of having adult concepts, but maybe like childish characters. Like each game is bigger. You see, each game is a little bit more complex. It's a lot of emotional moments and the universe in itself is very fun to get into because i mean who doesn't like to go into disney world but even that isn't the only aspect of the game because you have the overarching story of sora or riku that was reminiscent of a square enix story even thinking about this series man like can all the, the wait for kenos 4 is going to be it's gonna be hard uh, i mean they show the teaser and stuff uh, and it looks cool like i mean even the new the new stuff for it looks really good it's just, we don't know too much about it. Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth is out now, and that's doing well. I'm playing that at the moment. But will we ever see Square Enix characters back in the Disney game? Because there was a severe lack of them. I don't really know the reason why. It's definitely probably like a certain reason why, but there was a severe lack of Final Fantasy characters in this Kingdom Hearts game, and I was missing that. You know, at its core, it's, it's a collaboration between square enix and disney so i mean it would make sense for both characters to be in there it started off as like this one little game now it's like and excuse me for saying this i know fans are gonna get mad it's kind of like a one piece and a game of thrones in terms of like the amount of scale that it has grown into and just the amount of lore and stuff in the background that this game has like this franchise has you know we have the mobile game which has a lot of lore uh each game you have to piece the lore together you know so it's something like dark souls where you just kind of have to piece the lore together you they get they you tell it to you they tell it to you obviously it's just more of you really have to pay attention you really have to grasp it to understand it so you know i feel like we'll draw a lot of parallels between this one the first one and you know four you know just simply because you back in the day you know he was introduced to sora he basically joined his quest to save his friends and basically restore balance sounds like another series i know the reason why the story got so convoluted, it seems, over time is because you, you went from people like Sora, who had a simple journey to get his friends back. His friends come back. Then you just get introduced to new protagonists like Roxas and and Aqua, Ventus, and Terra. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these people just ended up being new protagonists. Each game felt like it just was different people. Now, granted, Sora was the main character for most of them, but, you know, we had Roxas in the mix. We have birth plus by sleep they gave us a whole different slew of new characters well i will say the one thing that they do do right you know what i'm saying it's like the emotional part of it they do definitely kind of give you that feeling like you really want to be into the characters even going back and like playing some of the the disney character stories you know uh, you see the little lines of the tragedies in their stories and trying to help them get back their people and save their friends and stuff. You know, to me, uh, it's basically like Xenoverse. It's a weird comparison because obviously this came out first, but you know, it's basically like Sora going into these already established worlds. He is, he either kind of changes the world due to his, him being there, or, you know, he helps advance the plot faster. And it's a cool thing. You know what I'm saying? I honestly am curious to see what we can see in Kinos 4. Speaking of that, there's a whole nother side of this that I think could be interesting if implemented right. Because it's weird, right? Now, Disney is the ultimate franchise. They have, what, Star Wars. They have Marvel now. So with that being said, could we possibly maybe get some Marvel characters? Could we get some Star Wars characters in there? Because it's a little far fetched, but in reality, I would love to get a lightsaber keyblade. I think everybody would love a lightsaber keyblade version. That would be amazing. Uh, you have to write it in a way where it's not too crazy, but I would about to say cheesy, but in reality, 
Sora, a Final Fantasy character at heart, going to all of these worlds, these Disney worlds and Aladdin and Frozen. You think it would be cheesy in itself, but in itself, it's pretty fun. It's a fun thing to do. To me, for all ages, no matter how old you are, when I was young, I played Kingdom Hearts, and I was older, I played Kingdom Hearts 3, and I did actually like it. The world jumping in the world, like being in Disney worlds, wasn't an issue for me. I think it might be a little weird to try to incorporate Marvel, considering that Marvel was like such an expansive universe, but I would definitely be down for it. Uh, you know, maybe like a general, like, quick world where you just go fight like a Marvel villain or so, or a Marvel Heartless or something. That would be cool. You know, just because of the amount of branding that they have and the, the power that Disney has behind them. Finding a, like a, a Heartless Sith or Nobody Sith would be absolutely insane. But the graphics in the new Ken Hearts look insane. It look like they're doing for a whole different thing. It's going to be a whole different saga. I don't know if we're going to stick with Sora as a protagonist for that long. But with that being said, guys, let me know what your hopes and dreams are for Ken Hearts 4. I, I'm kind of curious to see what they can do with all the properties they've earned over the years. I mean, we have a lot more Disney stories that could be told, so they can jump into a lot more Disney worlds. This is the thing. I love a show called Once Upon a Time, and, you know, it's kind of like my, I guess, guilty pleasure show, because I don't think the show is that great, but it's one of my favorite shows, just simply because it, it jumps into a lot of the different fairy tales and stuff and tries to apply it to a central figure you know sounds like a central town so i feel like ken hearts has always kind of been like that that game reminds me of ken hearts and you know so i i'm definitely hyped to see what they could do with star wars and marvel if they decide to integrate it but with that being said guys thanks for watching plus subscribe and i'll see you guys next video